preparation of all kinds petroleum and natural gas are main source of the all kinds unsaturated unsaturated hydro carbons from unsaturated hydrocarbons okay so alkanes are prepared from the unsaturated hydrocarbon what are the unsaturated hydrocarbons unsaturated hydrocarbons are the alkenes and alkynes okay <coughs> ch2 double bond ch2 this is a alkene and ch triple bond ch this is alkyl from the unsaturated hydrocarbons we get alkanes are the products alkane in that from the alkene so this is a ethylene from the ethylene we get ch3 single bond ch3 so what is the difference between them in this two hydro in this two, two hydro this one two hydro total four hydrogen but in this six hydrogen extra two hydrogen is there in this so what is the mean of that so hydrogens are added to this one because of this reaction these these compounds are involved addition reactions okay hydrogen molecule is added to this one we get a ethane okay you observe this one in this total four hydrogens is there two carbons four hydrogen but in this two carbon six hydrogen extra two hydrogens is there present in this hydrogens are added to this molecule okay we get alkanes as a ethane is a product okay so what is the name of the reaction addition of hydrogen okay or hydrogenation of alkanes okay hydrogenation on unsaturated hydrocarbons okay so the reaction is carried out in the presence of nickel platinum palladium nickel platinum palladium so platinum palladium required low temperature and nickel required high temperature okay also we call as reduction of alkenes we get uh, alkenes are the product so this is a ethylene this is a ethane and uh, from this one this is ethyl or ethylene addition of hydrogen we get ch3 single bond ch3 so from this one two carbons two hydrogens but in this two carbons six hydrogens okay six hydrogens extra how many hydrogens is there in this four hydrogens so you take two h2 total four hydrogens are added to this all kind we get ethane is a product so this reaction is reduction of unsaturated hydrocarbons or hydrogenation of unsaturated hydrocarbons we get alkanes are the products okay so this is a ethane ethanes are prepared in this you we are going to prepare propane from the propene so this is a propene from the propene followed by the hydrogenation or reduction in the presence of nickel platinum palladium nickel platinum palladium we get ch3 ch2 single bond ch3 okay what is the name of this one propane propane is a product this is a preparation method alkane okay from the unsaturated hydrocarbon and after this next one is a second method from alkyl halides from alkyl alkyl halides from the alkyl halides except to chlorides okay from the alkyl halides methyl chloride ch3 cl or chloromethane plus h2 so the reaction is carried out in the presence of zinc plus dilute hcl dilute hcl so we get ch4 plus hcl okay and also we take ch3 ch2 cl ethyl chloride or chloroethane plus h2 in the presence of zinc plus dilute hcl we get ch3 ch3 plus hcl okay so this is a preparation of alkenes preparation of alkenes from the alkyl halides <coughs> and also in this second method also is there that is a name of the reaction is urge reaction important urge reaction urge 
What is the reaction? The reaction is carried out in the presence of dry ether, methyl bromide, two moles of methyl bromide react with two moles of sodium metal. Okay, two moles of the methyl bromide and two moles of sodium metal. The reaction is carried out in the presence of dry ether, dry ether only. Okay, so two Na and two Br removed in the formation of two NaBr. Okay, remaining CH3, CH3, CH3 single bond, CH3. Okay, so alkane. So that is it. From the methyl bromide, we get ethane. From the two moles of methyl bromide. Reaction with two moles of sodium metal in the presence of dry ether, ethane is a product. This is a Woods reaction important. Okay. C2H5 Br plus 2Na plus Br C2H5. Followed by the, in the presence of dry ether, we get C2H5 C2H5. Plus 2 NaBr. This is a Woods reaction. Decarboxylation. Decarboxylation. Sodium salts of carboxylic acids. Sodium salts of carboxylic acids. Sodium state that is it. CH3, C double bond go, CO go, minus Na plus sodium estate or sodium ethanoate. Sodium ethanoate. Okay. Sodium ethanoate on heating, uh, heating with uh, sodium ethanoate heating with uh, soda lime. Soda lime. Soda lime. NaOH, sodium hydroxide plus calcium oxide we call as soda lime. And heating with sodium hydroxide and calcium oxide, we get CH4 plus Na2CO3. So, this CO2 is going to remove, we call as decarboxylation. Okay, by following this method, the carbon dioxide is removed from the sodium salts of the salts of the carboxylic acids by using the sodium hydroxide and calcium oxide, we call as soda lime. Soda lime. Okay, we get alkanes are the products. Okay, coal base, electrolytic method. Do you know about the electrolysis? So it contains anode and cathode and electrolytic solution. They are connected to the battery. Okay, positive one is anode, negative one is cathode. Okay, so, <coughs> so the reaction, the coal based electrolysis reaction carried out by using of sodium and potassium, aqua solution of sodium and potassium salts of the Carboxylic acid, sodium and potassium salts of carboxylic acid, CH3, C double bond O, O minus Na plus R, K plus, sodium and potassium salts of carboxylic acids, okay, carboxylic acid followed by the electrolysis process, okay, we get uh, alkanes are the products, 2 moles plus H2O, aqua solution plus H2O followed by the Electrolysis process. Electrolysis. Electrolysis. We get alkane plus H2 plus PO2 and NaOH. So, this is a reaction, simple reaction of the coal based electrolytic method. Okay. Two moles of sodium salts of aqua solution of the sodium or potassium salts of Carboxylic acid followed by the electrolysis process, we get alkanes are the product. Okay, so the mechanism, mechanism is involved in this. The reaction is carried out at the anode position and cathodic position is there. Two 
two moles of CH3 C double bond O Na is going to form equilibrium with two moles of CH3 C double bond O O minus acetate ion plus sodium. Okay, so the reaction is carried out at at anode first. The anodic reaction. Two moles of CH3 C double bond O O minus minus means it contains two electrons. It contains two electrons. By from this we are going to remove one electron. Okay, one electron from the one molecule. So, but in this it will have this two compounds. So we take the two electron in this. So two electrons are removed from the two acetate ions. Okay, from the one acetate ion we get CH3 C double bond O. After removal of one electron we get a minus charge to radical okay so how many electrons are removed in this two so we will you take two in this okay so a state radical this radical is appeared in this okay it is a unstable one it is going to form the attractions are taking place between them so it is going to convert c double bond o and c double bond o formation c double bond o c double bond o what is this c double bond o c double bond o That is CO2, C double bond. This half, this electron from uh, this, this electron is this one, and this one is this. Okay, CO2 gas is liberated. Remaining which one is there? Plus two CH3 radical, one electron. CH3 radical is there. Okay, so two CH3 radical, CH3 radical plus CH3 radical. So they are going to form bond. C H three single bond C H three. Okay, so alkane ethane is a product. Ethane is formed in anode, and C O two gas is liberated at the anode. And next, at cathode, at cathode, at cathode reaction, <coughs> H two O plus plus electrons. How many electrons are removed? Uh, removed from this one, two electrons. You get, you take two. Adding out two electrons to H2O, we get H2O is going to ionize in the formation of H plus and OH minus. So H plus and OH minus. How many OH minus? Two OH minus. How many H pluses? Two H pluses. By absorbing out two electrons, it is a two H radicals. Okay, two H radicals. H radical plus H radical. We get. H2 gas, H2 gas is liberated, and uh, remaining which one is there? OH minus 2 OH minus plus and this 2 Na plus. Which one is 2 Na plus? We get 2 Na OH. So the complete reaction is balanced in this. What are the products? Ethane, ethane is the product, and H2 H2 gas. Okay, and CO2 CO2 gas, and Na OH Na OH. So Mainly product is appeared at anode. Ethane is ethane is a product at anode. So mainly Q point of view important. The product alkanes are prepared at which of the position in coal base electrolysis method? Which of the which of the electrode position at anode? And CO2 gas is liberated at anode. H2 gas is liberated at cathode. Okay. So this is a coal base electrolytic method. And uh, Physical properties of the alkanes. After this, physical properties from the C one to C four all are gases. For example, C H four methane, gobar gas, and C H four and butane, butane C four H ten, butane, butane LPG gas. Butane, LPG gas, gobar gas, LPG gas. So up to C1 to C4 are gases, and uh, C C5 to C17, C5 to C17 are liquids, and after C17 are solids. Okay. So this all comes the mass. If the mass is increases, the boiling point is going to increases. And if the branching, for example, you take this one, pentane, and uh, Neopentane and next one, this is isopentane. Okay, so uh, n-pentane, neopentane, isopentane. Compared to these three, so all are have the 
same molecular formula but different structural arrangement we call it this the isomerism okay but bilinear points are going to differentiate it okay bilinear point is going to decrease from this one it is having high bilinear point next one is a low next one is very low okay for example this is contain 309 this is contain uh, 273 this is contain 260 like that so the bilinear points are going to decrease because of surface area is decreases the branching is increases the bilinear points are going to decrease that required temperature decreases okay so surface area increases boiling points increases surface area decreases boiling points decreases okay so this one will take the butyl and pentyl compared to uh, butyl pentyl has the high boiling points so because of the it is have the high molecular masses pentyl has the high molecular masses so the molecular masses increases boiling points are going to increases because of the weak vulnerable one, forces are increases okay so this is a physical properties of alkenes After completion of preparation of the alkanes, next one is the chemical properties of the alkanes. Chemical properties of the alkanes. Alkanes are inert in uh, some of the reactions, but they required uh, to react with any other one. Some of the conditions are required. Alkanes are inert towards the acids, bases, and oxidizing agent. So they undergo the following reactions under certain conditions. Only under certain conditions, some chemical reactions are take place by the alkanes. Okay. so in that the first one is a substitution reactions substitution reactions substitution substitution what is meant by substitution one of the position replaced with another one okay that is a substitution okay so one of the atom position replaced with another one of the atom or another one of the molecule so that is called as a substitution reaction so how alkanes are involved in the involved substitution reactions under certain conditions only so that is a halogenation halogenation okay so in that uh, one or more hydrogens atoms are replaced with uh, halogen atom uh, okay so one or more hydrogen atoms are replaced with uh, halogen atom under the 573 to 773 kelvin temperature okay so so alkanes are involved in the substitution reaction halogenation sulfonation okay and nitration certain conditions are required so in that uh, in this we have the halogenation halogenation reactions one or more hydrogens are replaced with the halogen under the 573 to 773 kelvin temperature only so it is a one of the substitution reaction substitution so let's we take uh, some uh, one example in this uh, ch4 this is a methane react with chlorine in the presence of sunlight h mu h mu is the sunlight so without sunlight the reaction does not going to take place it is a one of the uh, it is a radical based mechanism actually so the methane reacts with the chlorine okay in the presence of h2 we get a uh, one of the hydrogen position in this uh, how many hydrogens is there ch4 four hydrogen but in this three so one of the hydrogen position replaced with one chlorine ch3 cl i am indicating in this blue one and red one red one is a chlorine blue ones are hydrogens so four hydrogen replaced four in that four hydrogen one hydrogen position replaced with uh, one chlorine okay one chlorine atom so this is a chloromethane chloromethane plus hcl okay so <coughs> plus hcl next so in that uh, this uh, this reaction is continuously so up to uh, removal of the uh, up to replacement of hydrogens okay so one or more is there okay ch3 cl plus cl2 in the presence of h mu so another one of the hydrogen three hydrogens is then that one hydrogen replaced with uh, chlorine the, we get the ch2 cl2 that is the dichloro methane plus hcl and the next ch2cl2 this ch2 have to react with cl2 in the presence of h2 condition we get chcl3 chcl3 one of the hydrogen position replaced with the one chlorine we get chcl3 trichloro methane okay and next chcl3 trichloro methane or chloroform okay so chcl3 react with cl2 one hydrogen position replaced with another one chlorine completely hydrogens are replaced with uh, chlorine atoms we get ccl4 tetrachloromethane carbon tetrachloride or tetrachloromethane plus hcl is obtained so this is a this is a substitution reaction of the alkene okay so the rate of the reaction rate of the reaction the rate of the reaction is increases of the alkene with uh, halogens followed by the using of this halogens fp is more next chlorine cl2 next bromine next iodine okay so the rate of replacement of hydrogen so in this we have the hydrogens uh, of the alkanes ch4 next one
3H4, comma, 3, 3H3, 3H3. This is 3H3. Next is 3C, C, C. 3H3, 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 H. In, the, in this all case, this is a primary. So, in that primary, secondary, this is a primary, secondary, tertiary. One carbon bonded with another one carbon, that is primary. And one carbon bonded with two carbon, that is the secondary. One carbon bonded with three carbons, three carbons of three carbons, this is a tertiary. So, in this tertiary alkane, secondary alkane, primary alkane, so the replacement of hydrogen position, uh, replacement of hydrogen is more in tertiary. Next one, secondary. Next one, primary. Okay, last one, methane. Okay, so chlorine is too violent to be too violent to be controlled. Okay, so we we are maintained to certain control uh, certain control control conditions. And uh, iodine is very slow reaction. Iodine because of the large size, uh, uh, very slow reaction and reversible reaction. So CH four plus HI. We get CH3A and HA, it is a reaction is also take place reversely. Okay, forward reaction, backward reaction also take place. So, so the uh, uh, at this condition, we are carried uh, certain uh, in the presence of certain oxidizing agents that is the HIO3 and HNO3 to increase the rate of the reaction forward direction by using of some oxidizing agents. Okay, so this is a this is a halogenation substitute one of the substitute reaction of the alkane that is halogenation.